Man, we look professional. Title of this email, Tired of Skype Sex. Skype Sex. Yeah. Have I, I hope you can... <laughs> However, I hope you can help with my problem. I am a 22-year-old female, and I've been in a long-distance relationship. Hey, when I, I saw this email, she sent pictures. You think this was her? Look at that. She sent two of them. Let me, look. Let me show you the other one. This is a close-up. Yeah. 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 Look nice. Mm-hmm. Look real nice. Mm-hmm. She better go out there and find another boyfriend. Fuck this loser. <laughs> have she a, has webcam sex. Yeah, though. I'm a 22-year-old female, and I've been in a long-distance relationship with my guy for a little more than two years. Break up with him. It's your fault. It's your fault. I would have left his ass a long time ago. We fly back and forth visiting each other. If I was a female, that is. He, which I'm not. I was just trying to say I'd have left my girl a long time ago. He is actually going to visit this Christmas. We live in different countries and plan on getting a visa for him to move here. Okay, you're trying to work things out, trying to get in your country. Go out to tough it out then. <clears throat> My problem is we try to have a normal relationship by seeing each, seeing each other every day in the morning and at night on Skype. We also try to have some kind of sex life. We call it Skype sex. Well, That's a good name for it. Yeah. But it's not sex at all. It's depressing. He seems to enjoy it and get super excited about it. Sometimes I like too. I like I like it too. But most of the time, it makes me feel more lonely. Yeah, yeah. I can see how it can make him feel more lonely. Him, yeah. her. Yeah, she her. feels lonely afterwards. You know why? That's the see. Women are emotional. When it comes to sex, yeah. However, we can get it. It's cool, right? What? Well, what you mean what? When it comes to sex, women uh -huh. are emotional. Right. Right? Men is just sex. Yeah, it's true. just right? Bust nuts and roll over and go to sleep. Yeah. For women, women it's they, more emotional. So see They want to cuddle, man. They want to cuddle. They, they want you to hold them. They want to feel close and shit. Put that dick on them after you just slid it out there. Yeah, nice right? wet dick and just slap it on them. <laughs> they want to feel all that warmth. They want to feel yeah. that body. They want to sit there and hug each other. But sex for a lot of women is, a, is like bonding, right? You're not bonding. You on fucking Skype sex. Yeah. So it makes you feel more lonely. So yeah, after you have sex, you like. <laughs> That's what you do, man. Sit there and grab that pill and go to sleep, right? So my problem is we have to. Okay, we also have to have some kind of sex life. We call it sex, but it's not sex. Or it's you already been over that. He seems to enjoy it and get super excited about it. Sometimes I like too, but most of the time. So he's makes, rock hard. Makes me feel more alone. We try all kinds of stuff to make it kink and fun, but every once in a while, it it just doesn't work, and and that's happened more than I'd like to admit. Hey, <clears throat> hey, baby, been over. I'm gonna do it, doggy. Yeah, been over. On Skype, some <laughs> some Skype doggy sex. I'm putting a Skype cream pie your ass. <laughs> Basically, we just touch ourselves and talk dirty. But it's lame. I keep yeah. remembering me yeah. and him. Yeah. Just need a nuts hanging out. I keep remembering me and him together in real life and, and comparing it to oh, this man. shit. Sometimes it's a long fucking email. Okay, so whatever. She's got a four-part question. I'm going to leave that last paragraph out because mm -hmm. I don't feel like reading all this shit. <laughs> but I did get the it's gist. It's important, man. No, I, we got the gist of it. Got the gist of it. Let me answer no. your four questions. Read the last... So I have a four-part question for you guys. Well, let me read the other paragraph. That's, that's fucking disrespectful. Yeah. Sometimes I end up just faking it and putting a big show on for him. That's a good girl. Yeah, yeah, you a good girl. I miss, You helped that man bust all kinds of nuts. I miss physical human contact pretending it's not okay. cutting it. We are trying to move him, him here, but it's a big process. We usually see each other for a solid two months, and the rest of the time we are apart for around six months, sometimes more. Back in the day, the first time we had sex, it was best... Best I ever had in my life. Previously, I slept with four other guys to compare. Now the time, now the last time I visited him, the sex he he was not how I remembered. He he finished faster, and now it is less powerful. Is oh, he ain't giving it to you like he used to. Oh yeah, take that shit. So he's not as powerful. It doesn't last long. He well, doesn't last long. long. 
That makes sense because he hasn't hanged in a while. Yeah. Of course he's going to explode. Of course he's going to explode within seconds. So I have a four-part uh, question for you guys. Do you think that sex gets better over time when you live together? Yep. It actually, huh? It does. It does. Yeah, when you live together. Yeah. You learn each. You learn what each other like. What the yeah. Fuck? yeah. I would agree with that. But it's kind of got that crackhead effect. Crackhead effect? No, when you first hit crack, that shit's the unbelievable high. But as you take more and more crack, you got to take more crack to get to that, that crazy first high that you'll never reach again. That's the way it is with sex, too. What the fuck? It's that you crackhead talking? effect, bitch. It doesn't get, it doesn't, you know the first time you busted nuts, your whole body is dumb, feel like you was going to fucking die? Over time it goes away, it doesn't feel, it still feels good. So it doesn't feel good when you busted nuts? It still feels good, but not like the first time. I feel like I was going to fucking, that's because it was your first time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm telling her. Man, shut the fuck up, man, what the fuck you talking about? Crockhead sex and shit. <laughs> Question number two, they know what the hell I mean. No, they don't. Is he not performing great because he isn't having normal sex while we're apart? Well, he could be there just sitting here jacking off a bunch because you're not around. He's jacking off all the time. What's the question? Is he not performing great because he isn't having normal sex while we're apart? So I'm saying is he's sitting home, he's jacking it off every day. Are you right? answering a question? Yeah. You're just being silly, bitch. No, I'm trying to answer a question. <laughs> You're just being a jackass. Give me the goddamn Oh, phone. fuck you. I'm trying to answer this he's question. He's blasting quick because he ain't been around for a long no, time. No, he's not performing great. He's probably used to his fucking hand. Yeah, and he's fucking blasting. That's what I'm trying to tell him. <laughs> he's blasting too quick. And he's used to his hand, he ain't got his goddamn fucking stamina up. <laughs> you lose fucking stamina when you sitting there jacking off every fucking day because he ain't with you. You trying to say he's used to his hand? Yeah, he ain't got his fucking stamina. Yeah, let him get stroked down. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Didn't I answer a question? I hope so, bitch. <laughs> Man. How can how can we both keep our physical shape good for sex endurance? Exercise. More skate sessions. Exercise. Why could you eat? And four, how can <laughs> and four, how can I make our Skype six better until the big move? It's not gonna get any better. Yeah, it's gonna get worse. every fucking thing. It's gonna get worse. Yeah. But make sure you keep that man happy. Yeah. Keep faking it. Yeah. Doing all that shit. Put on a big show. So for now, get used to the Skype cream pies. Yeah. In other words. And hopefully y'all can move in together soon. Yeah. Make this a real relationship instead of this damn cyber shit. Yeah. That's clean. Title of this email is Queefing a Turn On. The fuck is that? Come on, you know what queefing is. I don't know what the fuck queefing is. I'm gonna find out, man. Go ahead and read the fucking email.